So I got my missing piece. Uh, I was missing the um, the AD620. That's how I designed this with the uh, AD620 in mind. It is a uh, instrumentation amplifier. And so I've received some of those and now the, uh, the Roland uh, 303 filter uh, is running. Uh, this is the one that has a diode, diode ladder and some transistors at the top and the bottom uh, using the 3046. So um, that's all up and running now. So let's take a look at it and see if it's functioning correctly. So, so this is the, uh, let me turn the zoom off for a second. Uh, so this is the, the filter. And if I change the current uh, into the uh, uh, base of the um, long tail pair, uh, you can see that I can change the uh, I can change the filter. So it's working a treat. Um, so that's great. And I was a little worried that uh, my other filter was distorting really, really bad. So that's why I had it zoomed in here. I was looking at. Um, here, let me zoom into a finer detail here. And so I don't know if there's a fast way to do this or not. Um, and so I'm inputting a sawtooth and I'm getting a, I'm getting a sawtooth out. So if I put in a uh, uh, ramp, it doing a ramp. So it's not distorting the signal. So it's preserving the, the shape of the waveform as it's going through the filter. So it's, it's doing exactly what, uh, what it's designed to do. So that one's working great. And like I said before, I really like the, uh, the, the simplicity of this, uh, of this filter. Now, I think, I think it doesn't sound as good as the Moog from online, uh, investigations and stuff. So I still want to get the Moog filter up and running, but yeah, this one's functional now. So, so that's a good step. Um, I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to load up my new board. And so this is another board, uh, thanks to uh, PCB way. I made a purple one this time. Uh, this is a, uh, multi-function board. It has a, a three-channel mixer. It has an envelope generator, uh, just kind of the basics of one, just so I can sort of play with it. And uh, an LM386 uh, amplifier, just because I want to be able to listen to this thing without having to plug it into other things. And then this down here is a voltage-controlled amplifier. Uh, so this is using the 3080, the CA3080. And so I want to start playing with that as well and, uh, and, and see how that works. So I think, uh, I think I'll just build this up today and uh, start playing with some other things. Now, uh, along the way, uh, like I said, I kind of went down the rabbit hole. It, originally, I was just going to make kind of a little noise generator. Um, and not necessarily a synthesizer, but just all the building blocks of a synthesizer. And so you could make tones and stuff. In order for this thing to become, become as functional as a Moog, uh, as this thing, it needs to have uh, everything to be voltage controlled. The oscillators need to be voltage controlled. Everything needs to be voltage controlled. And, and the voltages are one volt per octave type of range and stuff. So there's a lot of engineering that goes into making something as nice as this. My little box is just going to kind of be a noise generator because um, the, the oscillators aren't, uh, aren't voltage controlled right now. Um, certainly it's going to be modular. I'm going to see if I can't make a bunch of little boards and I'm going to have like my, my uh, micro micro euro rack. I think I'm going to have like tiny little boards that I can put next to one another um, and have different sections. So if I ever want to swap out a section and, and add voltage controlled and stuff like that, I can. But I think for the, for this exercise of what I wanted to do, um, the point of the, the point of the project here is just to learn about all of the building blocks of a synthesizer and um, in turn, teach you guys more about op amps. I think a lot of people are interested in analog electronics and they just don't, uh, you don't see a lot of that these days. Um, and I think the, the synthesizers are just the perfect, perfect platform to learn about, uh, to learn about op amps and all the things that they can do because they're used in all kinds of creative ways in, uh, in synthesizers. So anyway, 
like I said, uh, keep this video short today. I'm just going to uh, build this thing up and uh, have some fun in the garage. Thank you.